Hi, it's Paul here at Transport Vlog, and today I am at the Sydney Metro Trains Facility North in Rouse Hill, just after the end of the line at Talawong. And this facility is pretty much doubled in size to cater for the city and southwest expansion of Sydney Metro. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you what it looks like at the moment, compare that with what it looked like a few months ago, and you can see the changes. And also, if you look over here, it looks like there might be further expansion happening. I'll talk about that a little bit as well. I'm not quite sure what's happening there, but we'll discuss that a little bit as well. So this is how the whole area looked before construction work started. The area to the top is for the train maintenance facility and sidings, and the area towards the bottom is for Talawong Station. And this is how it looked in 2017. By this time, all the track had been laid along with the electrification, but the trains had not yet been delivered at this time. The extension of Sydney Metro south of Chatswood and through the CBD was agreed early enough to allow parts of the expansion to be incorporated into the initial designs. An example of this is the maintenance building on the right, which is already large enough to cater for additional tracks. Prior to the Sydney Metro expansion, the trains facility consisted of four lines into the maintenance building, nine sidings, a test track and a few other lines and I'm not quite sure what those do. Here is the track diagram for the expanded trains facility. All the new lines that have been added are in blue. These include four new lines into the maintenance building, 10 additional stabling sidings and a new test track. All the new and existing stabling sidings are long enough to cater for eight car trains. At the moment all trains are six cars long. This expansion has increased the capacity from 22 trains to 37 trains. The video footage that you're about to see is taken from the Talawong Road Bridge. So in view at the moment is the test track. And now coming into view are the new sidings. This footage was taken during April 2021 and as you can see it all looks pretty finished. You can also see that the electrification of all the lines has also been completed. Here is a more close up still shot showing you the new sidings. The new sidings and test track will be operational by the end of 2021 with remaining work being completed during 2022. The combined length of all the new tracks is 6.6 kilometers and required 720 tons of rail steel. The last of the new sidings is just here. And you can see some Sydney Metro trains in the original sidings, which are to the right of that. Notice this structure over the track coming into view right now. If you know what it is, do let me know in the comments. You can now see all the original Sydney Metro sidings. At this time of day, eight trains are required to run the standard 10 minute frequency off peak service, which is why quite a few trains are stabled. Here is a closer view of the new test track. This will be used to replicate any faults identified and to test trains after these faults have been rectified. This footage was taken back in November 2020 and as you can see even then all the track had been laid along with the electrification as well. Also taken in November last year this view includes the existing train wash. Now turning our attention to the four new tracks that go into the maintenance building. This footage was also taken in November 2020 and you can see that the new point or turnout is in place but no tracks as yet. And you can see the track bed for the new lines into the maintenance building but no tracks as yet. And now fast forwarding to April 2021 and you can see that the new lines are now in place. If you have any idea what this yellow vehicle is on the very top left, do let me know in the comments. All the heavy maintenance is carried out in this maintenance building here. A new train stabling facility is also being built at Marrickville dive site, which will stable trains and also allow for some light maintenance. Now part of the original plans, but doesn't seem to have been built yet, is a new loco shed and two lines that would connect to it. 
Now this is quite baffling because I didn't think there were any locos at all on the Sydney Metro. All I can think is it must be for maybe maintenance vehicles, track vehicles, something like that. But if you have any ideas, do let me know in the comments. This planned new loco shed would be on this area of land just here. I'll keep a lookout for this on future visits and I'll let you know if I see any evidence of this being built. This footage taken in November 2020 was in the middle of the afternoon around about 3 p.m. just as the evening peak service is starting to ramp up, which is why you can see a metro train coming out of the siding just here. This train is about to go through the washer. During the morning and evening peaks, the frequency is more than doubled from a train every 10 minutes to a train about every four minutes. Here is the same train coming out of the washer. And here's another metro train about to come into service. This one is bypassing the washer and going through this structure that I mentioned earlier. Again, if you know what it is, do let me know in the comments. The whole process of watching automatic driverless trains coming in and out of the maintenance depot is truly fascinating. Well, it is for me anyway. So I plan to do a video where I'll cover the movements of each train coming out of the depot and going into Talawang station. So look out for that one. And as this train disappears from view, here's another chance to have a really good look at all the new sidings that are now in place. Now looking towards Talawang station from the other side of the Talawang road bridge, and you can see that on the right, there is space for at least one additional line. Now I checked the relevant documentation and it looks like that something might be happening here, but again, no evidence as yet. Oh, hello, where did you come from? Anyway, back to the space on the right. I think the most likely reason for this is for a possible extension in the future to Marsden Park, or even all the way to St Mary's to connect with the new airport metro line. Let's have a look at this land that is immediately south of the train maintenance facility. The road appearing on the left is Thamida Drive. At the moment, this area is being used to store materials. In the longer term, part of this area will be safeguarded to allow the Metro line to continue west towards Marsden Park, as I mentioned earlier. And I reckon the rest of this area will be used for some kind of residential development. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. This footage was all taken from the site entrance on Thamida Avenue. To finish off, here are some photos from February 2019. So this was about four months before Sydney Metro opened and was also way before I ever thought of the idea of doing a transport vlog. These are also on an older iPhone, so the quality is not as good. This photo is taken from Schofields Road looking north. In this photo taken from the same location, you can see the maintenance building in the background. Even before phase one of Sydney Metro opened in May 2019, work was well underway to prepare the ground for the additional sidings. You can also see two new points or turnouts for the new sidings. Do you call them points or turnouts in Australia? Do let me know in the comments. In the next few photos, you can see Sydney Metro trains stabled. They were being tested at this time, so there were a few out on the line. You can see the train wash on the left and down at the bottom towards the right, you can see the line going off to the maintenance building. 
So I hope you enjoyed my update video of what's happening at the Sydney Metro Trains facility north in Rouse Hill. If you did, do give it a like, give it a thumbs up, do leave a comment or a question below. I'll do my best to answer any questions that you put in the comments. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to this channel and click the bell notification. That way you're always notified whenever I release future videos. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.